All right, so we're going to move on. Yeah, um, move on to sort of the last topic. Um, in terms of the Vermont political scene, one of um, <coughs> kind of a major, I think, watershed moment in how the Second Vermont, Re Second Vermont Republic is perceived by a lot of politically aware Vermonters uh, was a controversy that emerged, I think, in 2006, 2007. 2007. Yes, around um, kind of the Second Vermont Republic's associations <coughs> with an organization called the League of the South. Um, would you like to, to talk a little bit about kind of what those associations were and um, kind of just what, th what that controversy was? Well, these accusations came, um, came out of nowhere. Um, we had been uh, in existence about four years by that time. And for all practical purposes, it never uh, incurred significant attack by anyone. I'd always expected uh, if it were attacked, it would come from the, fly, the flag rate, uh, waving right. Uh, you know, accusing us of being traitors or something like that. And so I was mildly flabbergasted it when, it, when it came from, uh, from the left. Uh, I mean, the first question seems to be, uh, um, you know, what was this really all, all about? I mean, uh, the, the people who were orchestrating these attacks uh, 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 clearly, clearly were going for our juggler vein. They wanted to drive us out of business. And uh, it raises the question of why, what was it about the Second Vermont Republic that was so threatening uh, to uh, the bloggers at Green Mountain Daily, uh, John Odom, uh, people like uh, Bill McKibben, uh, who, who thought that they needed to, uh, to drive us uh, out, out of business. And uh, when, you, when you examine it, um, the source material for most of their acquisitions were prepared by an organization called the Southern Poverty Law Center down in Montgomery, um, uh, Alabama. The thrust of their charges were that because we had some connections with the League of the South, uh, which was a Southern secessionist uh, uh, group, quite a conservative group, um, and some board members of our organization who had, had ties with the League of the South, it was kind of classic uh, guilt by association, uh, innuendo, half-truths, and, uh, and ball-faced lies uh, were presented uh, by John Odom and the, uh, 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 the Green Mountain uh, uh, Daily. The, uh, uh, in, in retrospect, when I look back on, over it, uh, I suspect that it may, r racism may really have not been the point at all. The Southern Poverty Law Center is, um, is, among other things, a front organization for APEC, uh, which is the uh, lobbying organization in the United States for the Israeli lobby. And very often, I write pieces for um, uh, VermontRepublic.org website uh, suggesting that the state of Israel uh, is an apartheid terrorist state and a, basically a military machine that our government, the empire, provides unconditional uh, military and economic uh, support. So I think we were actually paying the price for the things that I've said about Israel, uh, not about racism. There's a certain irony of all of this of John Odom and Bill, Bill McKibben accusing, accusing us of being racist. Uh, th these guys are, are basically all American loyalists, loyal to the American empire, uh, the 21st uh, century equivalents of uh, of the, of the British Tories. Um, this is the very empire that we were talking about earlier that is one of the most racist, violent empires of all time. The Second Vermont Republic is committed to the peaceful dissolution of the American empire. These guys at Green Mountain Daily, John Odom and Bill McKibben, want to preserve the empire at all costs. What what is this? The degree of hypocrisy is almost beyond belief. The extent to which they were willing to lie was quite amazing. They even tried to uh, conflate me with my father. My father and I happened to have the same middle names, and my, my, I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. They tried to make some, associate some letters that he wrote um, when he was involved in Mississippi State government, appears though I had written these. This is this was an act of uh, utter desperation on their part. So my, I, I guess my current feeling is, so what, you what know, were the what were the letters about? The, the the letters were actually pretty nondescript. But the point was, my father was involved uh, with various 
uh, racist governors in the state of Mississippi. And the, the innuendo was that, that, that it was I who, who was involved with um, these, these governors. And uh, I must be racist and, and that uh, the Second Vermont Republic, therefore, is uh, uh, racist. And you know, it, was, it was utterly patently, patently absurd. But I mean, if these guys really care about racism, why don't they ever say anything about uh, the U.S. government's policies uh, to annihilate the Palestinians? I've never heard uh, 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 John Odom write about uh, that. I mean, that's real racism. Or, or, or about the, uh, the historical, the history of the American empire with the American Indians, uh, with African Americans. We want to dissolve the empire. He wants to preserve it. Who's the racist? Well, one, one thing that I got into a conversation about this on, on the Green Mountain Daily um, not long ago, and one of the big things <coughs> that was brought up is that, or the, one of the top issues that emerged was the idea that if you're, if you're creating a coalition to do something, like to say legitimize secession as, a, as an option, mm -hmm. or to, um, or to you know, succeed in seceding, uh, where are the boundaries of, of, in a task like that, like where are the boundaries of, you can bring together people with many different perspectives into such a campaign, mm -hmm. but is there any point where there's, it's too much? You say, well, these people are so over the line in one way or another that I don't want them associating with this movement. Yeah, that's a very good question, Matt. And I think uh, for sure the line is um, on violence and nonviolence. And uh, from our standpoint, we would never associate with any uh, secession group unless they are um, uh, committed to nonviolence. I mean, that's, that's from our standpoint, is absolutely non-negotiable. Um, please be assured that even though we had contact we, with, the, with the League of the South, we no longer do, um, you know, we didn't endorse their social agenda or their, their po political agenda. Um, our relationship with them was based on commonality on two views. They were unconditionally opposed to the empire and to George W. Bush. We shared those two views. We did not, in turn, apply a litmus test to them of giving them a quiz and say, what's your position on these five views? If you're not the same, we're not going to do business with, with, with you. Uh, we chose uh, not to, um, um, uh, to do that.